this and getting the community get together. Um, you know, as someone who was waiting for January 20th for eight years to come, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm pleased that, that there's a new philosophy in government and, you know, maybe the results are to be seen. But, and, and um, you know, I must say that I'm all of, I, I was very pleased to hear you talk about the possibility of tax increases because, I mean, I think the big problem that we have with the two billion dollar, two trillion dollar deficit that, that's looming, that, that is approaching, I think a lot of it is needed investment. There are a lot of things wrong in this country that need to be fixed in order for the future, for our children, for our grandchildren. No one likes paying taxes. And, you know, but I think we need a progressive tax system. We need, uh, we need congressmen who have the courage to talk about how they're going to pay for tax. Um, and you talk about, um, some of this is a comment, uh, uh, a lot of this is commentary, but I have a couple, uh, a short question afterwards. Um, you talked about earmarks um, that, um, that sort of the, I think what gets everyone upset is sort of wasteful spending. Uh, you know, I think we can argue about whether or not we need the investments in this country to make it a better, stronger country in the long term. No one likes paying taxes, I think. But I think taxes are necessary, and I need, we need a progressive tax system where they're wealthy, who can afford it, pay more. Um, and, um, um, but, um, what, what, I, what I'm concerned about as a Democrat, I fall on an upper tax income where I would pay more in taxes than I am currently paying under the progressive system. My question is concerned about what can be done to reform sort of the abuses that go on in Congress right now with earmarks, with Nancy Pelosi, for example, not willing to investigate John Murtha, um, which is something the Republicans refuse to do with all of their wasteful spending. But what can we do to get Congress to focus on that? And I appreciate your being here. Herb Limits. Thank you. Yes, Herb Limits. Oh. Thank you. Back there. Senior hat. You want to come up and use the mic? Well, I'm sorry, can you just, can you just uh, come on and please identify yourself so we know? Hi, I'm Richard from 11 Southport. I've been in the energy business for 30 years, and I think our both sides have absolutely no concept of what to do about energy. We get 30 second sound bites from both sides. Greens on the left wanting to do things, the Republicans on the right absolutely wanting to drill. Okay? I spoke to Chris Shades one time about this. I don't know why. No one in Washington has a political will and probably need to boot it down about raising the gasoline tax mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. I spoke earlier about the fact that all the money is going overseas. If you raise the gasoline tax, we're paying four bucks out of here and a half ago. We're paying two fifty right now. At fifty cents a gallon now, twenty-five cents a gallon over the next four years, total dollar fifty. People know it's coming, they can start to plan for it. It's risk for the government, it increases conservation, it takes money out of the hands of uh, the Saudis overseas, which is obviously conservation, we need less of their oil. Um, the auto companies, which can get a part of it, because obviously tax on right now, the gas tax goes to the transportation fund for the roads. Fine. A portion of some of that money to auto companies to try to reduce the cars that you're talking about. Being in the oil business doesn't mean that I'm um, you know, anti-conservation or anything like that. But in order to do something right, okay, somebody has to have a little will in Washington. The cafe standards are stupid because as long as you're going to have two dollar gasoline, nobody's going to want a car that goes 39 miles a gallon and they're going to continue to drive their top of the And I can talk for a while. <laughs>
that has 90% of the public shape of gas. Thank you. Yeah, that ethanol point is, is, is dead right. This is a disaster. It was approved by Congress, and it's reflective of the fact that our agricultural states have one heck of a lot of sway in the institution. Just out of, I'm just curious, though. We've got a very engaged crowd here. No noise, but I'd love to see a show of hands of who would support and who would oppose a gas tax. So if I, as your congressman, said, uh, I am going to propose legislation that will increase the federal gas tax by 50 cents, how many of you would applaud that initiative? Where would it be going? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Gas tax 